So you're curious about the Willow Go wearable breast pumps and now you're trying to figure out if you should buy them. <laughs> Say no more. I absolutely love them. Now this video is not sponsored and I'm going to give you my true honest opinions and experiences with the One Willow company. Now clearly I have a lot of Willow products. I have invested quite a bit of money into my breast pumping journey and so I want to share some of my favorite things and explain a little bit about them. For one, the breast pump. I started pumping a little bit before my baby was born and I was using these to collect colostrum. It actually worked great. I ended up with about 40 syringes of colostrum and my baby was born at about 37 weeks, completely healthy. Everything was wonderful. Now I just used this a little bit ago. I already took the milk out, sorry. So I'm gonna take it apart. I always pull the flange out and then press both of these buttons here at the same time on both sides to release the container. And there you go. I do have the Dapple Baby Wipes. They're amazing. I buy them in like a bulk pack from Amazon. Really good price. Okay, so this is the pump diaphragm. It is like basically the backflow protector. And then here's my other one. I just like to wipe it down if there's ever any moisture. And then a lot of times I will pull it out completely and soak it in soapy water. I have some extra sets of them so I can go back and forth between the two. But for right now, since we're doing a video, I will just wipe this one down. Okay, so these are dirty. I'm not going to demonstrate with those. Now these ones, however, are the seven ounce containers. The ones I just showed you are five. So just for reference, that is the difference in size. Side by side. You can see this one is actually a bit larger, has a little bit more room between the container and the duckbill. This is a lot closer. Now for assembly, you wanna make sure that these are completely straight on the pump, on the motor. This is your motor. So first, what I tend to do for assembly is I start with this piece and I line it up here at the bottom make sure that's correct it's going on straight and then with thumbs on both sides make sure it clicks all together and then here I line up with the duck bill the next step is to line that up there and then push it in same thing here I like to line it up right at the top and then push down with the rest that is how I know all of my pieces are on properly and then for the flange I almost forgot what it was called Make sure that goes in straight. And there you go. That is how you assemble a Willow Go. Now, if you've already assembled the container, that's totally fine. You could do the exact same thing and just push it in. Okay, so that is on straight. I just prefer to assemble it one by one, but if you need to and you have it already assembled here in the front, it's fine. And then with your flange, so these are your Willow Go pumps and these are fresh parts. Now, typically they have stickers <laughs> to label them left and right. I have had a replacement pump, so one of my stickers was gone and I decided to take off the other sticker and label it with Sharpie, but then I ended up smudging it. So long story short, I had them labeled nicely and now I have to redo it. Anyway, this is how you are gonna turn them on. Now you can control it through the app or you can control it through the pump. Personally, I like having that flexibility because I don't always have the patience to get in through my phone. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and I just want to control them from the pump. So hold down on the power button right there and you'll be able to hear it is in stimulation mode. It's going to go for a full two minutes and then it's going to switch to expression mode. Now there are about six levels of stimulation. Let me pull up the app here. It is connecting to both of my pumps and you'll see that one of them is running. Sometimes it can take a little minute to actually connect to the pumps, which can be frustrating. So that's why I do like to turn them on from the pump. So here you can see that my left one is currently working. Now there are several levels. There's six total stimulation levels. Now it automatically switches at two minutes, but I'm going to switch it sooner to expression. 
If you go to level six stimulation, it will automatically put you on level six expression. You can take it up higher if you want. It goes up to level nine. <sighs> it's working really hard. Okay. And then if you switch it back to stimulation, it goes down to six. Back to expression, it will stay on six. Once you're done pumping, it will prompt you to type in your session. And I do like to keep track of my sessions and how much I produce on the app, but I do also have another app because Willow's not the only pump I own or use on a day-to-day -day basis. I've only used this pump once today because I was using my Spectra and I was nursing my baby mostly throughout the day since it's a weekend and he's home with us. Now let's talk about some accessories. Of course, we talked about the wipes. These are great ones and I use them almost every single day. When I don't have access to a sink and soap and water, these are perfectly fine to use. These are of course the seven ounce containers. I like to have at least one set of each size because in the morning, if it's your first morning pump and you have more than five ounces typically, it's nice to have the bigger size so you don't risk overflowing. Some women do still overflow and produce more than seven ounces on each side and you just have to watch for that. So. I am going to talk to you about the carrying case. This looks really nice. It is really nice, but it doesn't allow for a lot of extra room. I have it, I love it. It looks super sleek. You can unzip it here, place your pumps in, and I'm glad I'm putting these in with the seven ounce containers just to show you how they fit. So. Look at that from the side. They do take up quite a bit of space if you have the seven ounces, but it will still zip, no problem. This is a hard case, so if you do happen to drop your pumps, they're not going to get smushed in it because the case itself is very sturdy. There is a pocket in here that's perfect for a charger or if you have the silverette cups or some nursing pads, this is a really small, convenient space to put small things really doesn't provide a lot of extra storage so if this is something that you're going to carry around you'll probably want to get yourself one of these there is absolutely no way that you can fit a bag of milk in here without risking having it leaking onto your pump so i did decide to get this i was a little bit skeptical about these containers at first because Obviously things can happen. Um, ice packs can crack, can leak. Any ice pack can do it. It doesn't matter the brand. Now these, I like these a lot. I've actually used these as regular ice packs. I was skeptical about the ice pack going directly into the milk because ice packs can have issues with the cracking and leaking, of course, that I just mentioned. Well, when I realized there is a separate layer in between, I was sold. Cause I was like, okay, even if something happens to this ice pack and it decides to crack and leak, it's not going to get into my milk. What we have here is the container and it can hold your milk at a safe cold temperature for 24 hours, assuming that this is frozen from the start. This is a 16 ounce container. And if you look inside, there is a line that you can pour your milk up to. That is the line that it is safe and we'll still have enough room when you put this attachment inside. That was another thing that confused me, but I was like, I'll trust it. It says 16 ounces. I'm sure there's something in there to tell me, and there was. So you just gotta screw this part in, and then you can slide this one on in and screw that into. Super easy. And I decided to buy them in two different colors. Actually, I have two of these and two of these because we were going out of town I ordered two of these ones knowing that I was going to be away from my baby all day since I was a bridesmaid at a wedding. I wasn't going to have to worry about bagging. I didn't want to take the time and the hassle to do that. I just wanted to pour my milk in somewhere safe and get going. <laughs> wedding days can be very busy, especially as a bridesmaid or the bride and groom yourself. If you're pumping and it's your wedding, you're going to need something quick and easy. And I really like this. Well, they didn't get here in time and I really needed these. So I went to Target and I bought two. And now I have four. <laughs> Even after I'm done breastfeeding, these are still going to be very convenient because if we're taking like cow's milk or anything else that we need to keep cold, it's good for 24 hours in these. So next up, 
would be this bag. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the bag that I actually primarily take with me to work. If I need to just go somewhere quick, I'll take my pumps in this and I'll just bring a portable milk cooler with me. Super easy, you can just throw these in a bag and that's what I did for the wedding. I just had a bigger bag, like a duffel bag with me, put this in there and then I put two of those coolers in. But when I go to work, I have a lot more that I wanna take with me, like my chargers, I have some breast warmers that I put in there, my milk bags for storing milk, I have my breast pump wipes, I have so many other things. So this bag is much easier. So this is the Pump Anywhere case, this is the Pump Anywhere bag. So for starters, there is the cooler underneath and you can actually detach it. I'm not going to right now. Okay, so for just keeping this upright, I'm going to put this right in here. I do store it this way when I'm not using either. You can use whatever ice packs you want. They do not come with the bag, unfortunately. Inside, you can see there are plenty of pockets. So there is a divider right in here. Typically what I will do is I will put my wipes right here along with the pack of breast milk bags. I'll just put it right in there. Now in the main pocket, you have two little pockets to keep your Willow goes. So I'll put one in here and then the other one. And it really doesn't take up that much room. I just put them both to the side and there's still plenty of room here in the middle if I wanna put like my nipple creams or nipple balm. Uh, sometimes I literally take a container of coconut oil with me. I don't even use like the breastfeeding nipple stuff that's meant for nipples. Sometimes I really just use coconut oil and it works great. Um, there is a pocket here in front, if you can see that. So I actually tend to put my charger here in this pocket in front. So this is the Pump Anywhere bag. I absolutely love it. And another really cool thing is you can use it as a crossbody. This goes really high. Or you can use it as a backpack. The sky is the limit. <laughs> if I want it as like a really easy just purse, you know, and I don't want it to be quite such a long strap, then I just tighten it up. Actually, I guess. And then it's just an easy way to carry. These straps might hang a little bit loose, but honestly, it's perfect. This is such a great bag. I was a little bit hesitant about buying it from the start because when I was still pregnant and I was looking for my pumps, this was full price. I got it on sale when it was about $110 and I just decided to do it because I really wanted it and I needed something easy to go back to work in. I do not regret it whatsoever. This has been an amazing bag and if I had to do it all over again and it wasn't on sale, knowing what I know now, I would have bought it at full price because it is that worth it to me. It's amazing. Let's talk about the extra container set. It comes in a box super easy like this. I have plenty of container sets, so I'm leaving this one unopened until I need it. Sometimes there's wear and tear and you just have to buy a new container set. But honestly, if you just have the one, buy a second one. You never know when something is going to happen to any of your parts. They're gonna get bad, they're gonna get torn. I saw a post on the Willow Moms Facebook group that this mom, her dog grabbed one of the parts from off the counter and chewed on it. So if that was her only container set, she would have been screwed. She needed another set. It's always a good idea to have another one as a backup or you can alternate between the two. But this way you have backups. You can alternate or you can save them. The choice is up to you. Next up, I'm gonna to talk to you about milk cups to catch leaky milk. So this is the Hakka brand. There's a misunderstanding with some moms where they think that this works like the regular Hakka. It doesn't. It does not suction, therefore it does not pull milk out of your breasts. It literally is just there to sit in your bra and catch any leaky milk. So that's why you may not be getting as much milk on these as you do with regular Hakka that suctions on and hangs down. I have them both and truly the other one gives me more. I don't really catch much leaky milk in this because I haven't really been leaking a lot this time in this nursing journey. Well, when I want to wear these, I always felt like these were cutting off circulation in my breasts. Like, it's just how I felt. So I decided to try Willow, and boy, I am glad I did. So far, 
Everything that I've tried at Willow has been wonderful and I thought I'd give these a try. Now I have an open set upstairs and I'm gonna open these ones for you and get them out of the box so you can see exactly how they come out. Okay, so they come in just like these. For starters, they have a hard case on the front. They're not completely silicone like Hakka. They do have a spout here on top where you can pour if you have milk. Otherwise, if you wanna keep that closed and you bend over while you're wearing them, then your milk isn't going to spill out. I did see some reviews that said, sometimes this can pop off. It is two pieces. That is something to consider. But I wore them for quite a while the other day and they did not pop off for me. And now I wasn't leaking during that time. So, you know, I can't say for sure what a bunch of milk is going to do with them. I haven't had them for long enough at this point, but they didn't cut off circulation for me. They were much more comfortable and that to me is enough. Of course, they're going to be harder cups right here on the front, but honestly, they were so much, so much better for me than the Hakka brand Ladybug Collectors. I'll probably get rid of these. And I just don't like how they build up grime on the inside. Maybe it's just the way that I was washing it, but I really just, I'm not the biggest fan of these. These are a winner for me. I ordered an extra charger brick. I had to buy one originally because these do not come in your box. So if you're ordering yourself a set of Willow Go pumps, just do yourself a favor and buy one of these. It's worth it. It was such a pain in the butt to find two different bricks to plug my Willow Goes in and to have to find two open outlet spaces when all you need is one with two ports. I also have the Willow Silver Cups. I was skeptical about these because I was like, what can silver do to soothe your nipples? I still don't get it, but they work. If you wear these, fair warning, they do look like giant nipples through your shirt. <laughs> I actually had a couple friends comment to me at different times asking if I was cold. So <laughs> keep that in mind if you're gonna wear these in public, they look like giant nipples, but they are really helpful. Sometimes I feel like after a pump session, if they're still larger, <laughs> if you will, they'll fold over or they'll be uncomfortable. And so I'll put these on after a pump session, let them chill out, soothe, take them off in a little bit, and then they're perfectly ready to go for the next time. When you're in the midst of the early postpartum or the fourth trimester, and you're pumping all the time, nursing all the time, these are just nice to have. I don't use them all the time, but I love knowing that I have them for whenever my nips are sore. Next up would be the cleaning kit. It's not completely necessary, but goodness, it has been very helpful for me. This is the second one that I bought. I bought the first one with the intention of taking it to work with me when I went back to work. And I ended up loving the brushes so much that I decided to leave it at home and buy another one for the office. So this one is going to the office with me as soon as Monday comes. This is my favorite brush because it works amazing with the Dr. Brown's nipples. That's what we use. Now there is this attachment and the handle. You just slide it on in and there you go. Perfectly good brush it's silicone. So it's not going to scratch your parts. That's another big one for me. I hate it when brushes scratch my pump parts. It is like nails on a chalkboard for me. So that's why I like the silicone brushes. There is a small tip brush for you to use as well. And then an empty container to put your own soap in. So I will be filling this and taking it with me, but they truly made this so convenient. We take this with us whenever we travel and then this itself acts as a drying rack. It's perfect. The bottles fit on here great that we use and the pump parts fit on here just fine as well. So if you wanna take it apart, you just pinch these pieces and pull apart, super easy, close it and snap. We have a visitor. So next on the list is a nipple ruler. This one is actually not from Willow. As of right now, Willow doesn't have a silicone nipple ruler, but they do come with a nipple ruler in the box when you buy your pump set. It's great. It was the first time that I ever knew that there was a way to measure your nipples. The first time I was pumping for my older son, I didn't actually know that you could have different size flanges. I just thought that what you got is what you get. We're teething right now. 
and he is sore. I ended up just buying this nipple ruler from Mom Cozy. It does have it in millimeters and inches, so there's a different type of measurement on each side. But those are my favorite products from Willow and my honest review, honest thoughts about them. I had, oh no. We are back in a new outfit. All right, where was I? Okay, so with my experience with Willow, I wanna be honest with you guys, it hasn't been exactly smooth sailing. I had one of my original pumps from the box. It eventually cracked. I don't know if I dropped it, what it was, but when I noticed the crack, I called Willow. Their customer service was truly amazing, so nice, so understanding, and they sent me a replacement for free. Well, the replacement that they sent, unfortunately, was defective. It stopped working on me, so I called them again, and they sent me another replacement. So I did get a couple replacement pumps that were defective, and it was honestly quite a bit of a headache. I had to go back to using my Spectra a little bit because I couldn't exactly rely on these defective pumps knowing that they had already stopped working on me once. Well, throughout all of this, Willow has been really amazing for customer service. They have worked really hard to try to make it right. They have been sending me whatever replacements necessary to make this a better experience pumping. Now, it is unfortunate that I got stuck in a group of defective pumps. But truly, throughout all of this, they have been wonderful to work with, and that's why I keep working with Willow. That's why I keep buying their products and using them, because even though I got a couple of defective pumps, they have been a wonderful company. And if you think about it, every single company, every manufacturer out there is going to have their problems, but to me, it matters how they work with you and what they do for their customers. So I truly have had a overall wonderful experience working with willow and using their pumps and i'm going to keep using them and i'm going to recommend them to whoever is looking for a wearable pump they have hospital grade suction and that has made a huge difference on my output i know that a lot of moms struggle with wearable pumps but i've had nothing but good experience with them if you're torn between the willow goes and the willow 360 i will let you know that i learned the willow go has a pump and release sort of suction and the 360 actually has a constant suction. So if that makes any difference to you, that's what I've learned. I've never tried the 3.0s or the 360s myself. So you might wanna not watch another review on that before you make your decision, but that's all I've learned. These are my favorite pumps. I love them more than my Spectra, even though sometimes my Spectra can give me more output. Sometimes, depends on the day, depends on the time. These are still my favorites. So if you want to get some for yourself, I'll post links in the description. You can get them at Target, Amazon, or directly from Willow. I actually got my pumps through Aeroflow, through my insurance, and then insurance didn't cover the whole thing, so I did have to pay some out of pocket, but honestly, it has been well worth it. So I will post whatever I can here in the description for you to check them out at whatever retailer you'd like. I will say Willow has a lot of sales throughout the year. Black Friday sales have been incredible. <laughs> truly incredible and amazing deals but even when it's not black friday and it's just a regular day i see sales run all the time check the parts at all different places and see where it's most convenient for you to shop at or where you have the best deals either way i'll post whatever i can below they are affiliate links so some of them do earn me a little bit of commission to help support my channel and this little guy and the rest of our family before I go, I am about to pump my last pump of the night. They're feeling a little full. So I wanted to show you exactly how much I get on these pumps. Okay, so I have them in. As you can see, they tend to make things a little bit larger. I like to call these my dolly boobs. So they are connected. I like to turn them on from the pump, but you can start them from the app as well. So I hold them down both at the same time because I'm weird like that. I like to have them at the exact same time. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so it, like I was showing you guys before, it starts out in stimulation mode automatically for two minutes and then it will switch over to expression. And then when I'm out and about, I just make sure to pull up my shirt and then 
put my sweater over it. And then if you really don't know me, you could just think that these are natural. I don't know. I was out at the store today and I was in the bathroom at Shields, Black Friday shopping, and I was putting my pumps in. I got a couple of weird looks and then another mom was like, aren't those the best thing ever? And I was like, absolutely, love them. So convenient. So I will check back with you guys as soon as I'm done pumping. I'm gonna go for the full 25 minutes. It will automatically stop at 25 minutes, but you can start it again if you wanna pump longer. Okay, I'm almost done pumping. I only made it to level four this time on expression mode, and I do feel that it's getting a pretty good amount of milk out. Take it up to five just for the last couple minutes. Okay, so I am still wearing my pumps. It is almost time for them to stop. All right, they stopped right at 25 minutes. Take them out here. They do drip a little bit when you take them out. Okay. Okay, so my right side got a solid three ounces. You can see on this side, we've got about three ounces. And on my left side, about three and a half. Okay, and honestly, I feel pretty empty right now. So willows do get quite a lot of milk out from what I've heard. Wearables don't always empty you as well as wall pumps, but these have hospital grade suction and I have never been disappointed with these. As you can see, they are pretty effective. So if you are thinking about getting a wearable breast pump, I really do stand by Willow. I think they are well worth it and they have amazing customer service through the company itself. They offer so many other products to help you along your breastfeeding or pumping journey. And I don't know, I can't say enough good things about them. If you have any questions at all regarding these Willow products, please leave them down in the comments. If they come out with new products and you don't see them here in this video, by the time you watch this video, I may or may not have tried them. So let me know any other questions you have. I would love to hear from you guys. But that is all for this review. I'm gonna head to bed. <laughs> let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time.